Was Biggie Smalls gay? This theory says yes. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and of course, if you know anything about my TikTok, you can go on there and watch a short form uh, theory of this. And if you're here from TikTok, welcome. We're about to give you some more context, some more details on the theory, so you can understand a little bit more about where this came from. Anyway, also remember, I do have a Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron, go there. That'd be great. Link is inside the description. Now today we're talking about whether or not uh, Biggie Smalls was gay. This theory is actually one that's been floating around for a while and a lot of people consider or uh, they start to guess the sexuality of different artists and stuff because typically that's what people do. People will look at you, they analyze you, they want to know who you are and what you're all about. And sometimes they have conclusions that may be right or wrong, but they do exist. Now keep in mind there are people out there who are going to be very upset with this theory and first of all I'd like to ask you a question. Why are you so upset if Biggie Smalls was indeed gay? And secondly, if you feel as though he's being mischaracterized as being gay, when you see the evidence, would you then consider and question then why people ask that question? Um, this theory comes, of course I already know this theory is going to come with uh, two sides of a coin. People are going to be very upset about it or people are going to be interested in it. And I, I'm, I'm open to any questions. I'm open to anything like that. I want to show you the evidence and why people believe this theory is true. And we're going to go through it. And I'm going to say this now before anybody asks. I personally don't believe this theory is true. In fact, there are tons of theories that I've said on this channel that I don't necessarily believe are true or not. Um, and I present these theories because they're fun to think about, they're interesting, and there's evidence that's associated with it that I would love to explore with you. And that's the whole point of doing this. So let's talk about it. Is Biggie Smalls gay? Well, so basically this theory came up <clears throat> uh, a while ago. And of course you all know he was a, uh, he was a rap artist back in the 90s. So let's take a look at some of his work and then we'll ask that question again right so uh, one of his songs is the song was named juicy it came out in 1994 uh, on one of his albums i believe it was ready to die and in the song he actually referenced something that was quite interesting and i'll make sure to put a, a screenshot of it here so essentially and we're just going to read off of the of the of the text itself so that we can get some context it says when i met you i admit my first thoughts was you was a trick. You look so good, huh? I suck your daddy's dick. Okay. Okay. So let's let's unpack that for a second. So first of all, that is one of the lines that began to make people think that maybe Biggie Smalls might have been either bisexual or even gay. Now you have to consider that back in the 90s, saying anything like that would have been automatic cancellation. Like back then, the the uh, the acceptance of gay people, the LGBTQIA plus community was extremely thin. All right. Not a lot of people were being accepted, especially in New York City around that time. Although now we see it more as a liberal city and a lot of people are very open and stuff like that. It wasn't really like that back in the 90s all around the world. So you have to consider Biggie Small saying something like this, all right? That was going to turn a lot of heads. People were going to ask a lot of questions, all right? And it's fair. So let's first give this statement some context, and that's why we're here. We're here to give these theories context. So Richard Pryor, who was a comedian um, way back in the day, actually said a line that was very similar to this. Um, and I'll try to post it right here. And essentially, he was saying that, you know, she looks so good, I wanted to do this to her father. That was the joke. That was the punchline to the joke. Many people believe that Biggie Smalls was just referencing that joke and being hyperbolic, saying that this girl looks so good, I'm willing to do a, a homosexual act on another man just because she looks so good. Now, once again, the the context behind it, it's fair, but people are still gonna ask questions like, why would he say that? What's the deal with this? Why would he feel as though that this would have been the appropriate place to talk about this? Now, let's remember the song Juicy is about a woman. It's about women. It's about him having sex with women. It's about him using women to that degree and he calls them all types of b-word this and all these other derogatory terms for women that otherwise would have been very unacceptable especially now uh in hip-hop or not so yeah a lot of people would see this song as being a 
straight song. It's a heterosexual song. It's about him enjoying himself with women. But that line, that one line started to make people question exactly what his sexuality was. Now, a lot of people are probably sitting at home right now thinking to themselves, okay, so that's one line. The guy said one line that was just a little, just a little, you know, not straight. What other evidence do you have? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because we got a lot. And I'm going to put it up here. So as you read that, uh, these are just a few more lines that he said throughout some of his music, and I'll read them out. Uh, I will F RuPaul before I F them ugly hoes from Escape. Uh, I added the hoes. I'll F RuPaul before I F them ugly Escape girls. If you don't know who Escape was, they were a very popular uh, girl band back in the 90s. Uh, and they were they were exploding off the scene and they were very successful. He didn't like them very much. That was his line. RuPaul, by the way, is a uh, drag queen who was very popular in that time period as well. So he admitted to rather uh, having sex with the drag queen than having sex with the women part of the girl group. Okay, got some more. It says, blood and money don't mix like two dicks. Whoa, we don't know what the context was behind that, but it, that's another example of people having to ask the question and connect the dots themselves. And when people connect the dots themselves, this is what you get. It also, uh, another line, of course, the one that I mentioned already, uh, another one says, uh, you know, niggas say, I'm pussy. I dare you to stick your dick in this, you know? That, what, that's the kind of thing that Biggie was giving us. Those are the kind of lines he was putting in his songs. So you gotta once again, and I know you might, who, who's ever out there, you, whatever your opinion is about whatever, if the line is in the song, are people wrong for asking these questions? I don't think so. You got another one here. Niggas test they luck, and they get a butt effing straight up the A raw dog with no with with a with a rash you know you, you gotta ask these questions what does it all mean why why is that in there and so of course people started to assume that perhaps Biggie Smalls uh, was indeed gay bisexual or part of the LGBT community now Another piece of context that a lot of people don't know, he did have a gay best friend. Uh, he was openly, his best friend was openly gay. That doesn't have too much bearing on this theory, but it's just important to know that he did also have a openly gay best friend back in the 90s, and people started asking more questions. You are openly around this particular gay gentleman. You are, you have these lines in your songs that are depicting, you know, these acts. People are going to ask those questions. Lastly, and this is one of those, <laughs> this is one of those parts of the theories that I don't necessarily um, believe or disbelieve. I just found was really funny. There was somebody who had mentioned the name, the notorious B.I.G. Now, all of us figure that his name is Big Biggie, right? Because he's a large man. Somebody said that the B.I.G. in his name stands for because I'm gay. So anyway, you, whatever your answers are, uh, are to this theory, whatever you feel about it, comment below. Tell me what you don't like about it, what you do like about it. I just wanted to give you guys some more context and some more supporting evidence behind the theory. If you're from TikTok, thank you. If you're native to YouTube, thank you. Subscribe and join my Patreon link in the bio. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.